Hello, in today's session we're going to do a quick Matillion video. It's going to do a, basically build a job to do a merge statement, which will merge from a staging table into a target table. It's going to consist of an orchestration job that we'll call the transformation job. We can also get it to handle any failures by sending out a notification. In the transformation job we're going to read from a source table and we are going to use a table update component which will effectively do the, the same task as a, a SQL merge statement. I'm going to go over to Snowflake. We're going to create a demo database and then create a staging table called customer and load it with some stage with staging records. Then we'll load a history table, which is the target table, which won't contain as many records. Um, so we can insert, insert some new records and fix and up, well, update any uh, records that already exist. So I'm just going to show you the table for now. So start off with a staging table, we're going to end up with these uh, set of records. In the history table, we're going to have some of them, but not all of them. And note that Dave, we're going to have a, a misspelling of Dave, we're going to have Dave, Davey, um, and he's going to be credited to Dave. Right. So we're going to start off with uh, creating the tables in Snowflake. Um, first and foremost, we're going to create demo database, then we're going to create the demo schema. And then we'll create the staging table and then we'll insert some records into the staging table. We'll do the same for history. We'll create a history schema. We're already inside the uh we're in the demo database already because we've created the demo database, and then inside there we'll create a history schema, then the table. This time in history, we will uh, set the primary key column and we'll also add an updated flag column at the end with a default of zero. Let's do that. Right, so let's go and read from the staging table. I'm going to copy this date stamp because it'll be easy to see and compare later on. But we've got the eight fields. Rod, Jane and Freddy, Dave, Mario, Luigi, Toad and Princess. And then in the history table, Rod, Jane and Freddy, we've got Davey. And we need Mario, uh, Luigi, Toad and Princess to go in there. And the inserted date for these should be slightly later. Yeah. And uh, current timestamp right now. It's uh, UTC because I'm in British sometime at the moment, but the server is UTC, so it's one hour behind. Right, let's switch over to Matillion. I've got some jobs here that uh, is the uh, kind of target state. So here's the orchestration job that we want to build. Um, every orchestration job starts with a start component. We will call the transformation component. If that transformation fails, we'll then connect it to an SNS, which I've not configured because I've got nothing uh, set up for AWS. And because it's failed on this side of things, we then end with a failure. And the, T, uh, the transaction will look like this. We will table input the stage customer table. We will then add a car uh, an updated flag column and then do the merge using a table update component so we'll build these from scratch i've created a zero youtube demo folder so in there i'm going to create uh, an o1 call merge jobs component and I always give it a description, so it's good practice. Uh, this calls the transaction jobs that merge tables from staging into history. All right. Ah, it didn't like it because I've already got one. So let's create another one, same one. Alt one. Call merge jobs A. Right, and this 
calls transformation jobs to merge tables from staging to history. Right. Yep. Won't let me create it before because it doesn't like jobs having the same name. I'm going to create an empty transformation job. Keep an eye on the naming. Merge plus numbers. This merges the customer table. Right. We'll do transform we'll do the transformation shortly. Right, so I'm in the orchestration job. It will call the transformation job, drop it nearby. Um, click on that. Because I've dragged it from the left, it knows which job it is. So we've already set the transformation job there. Any scalar variables? We're not going to deal with any variables. Passing it from this uh, parent orchestration to the child, which is transformation. I'm going to do that today. Double click on that. Now we're in the transformation job. We want to read from the staging table which has got eight records so we want to read table update read the table sorry input drag that in i'm going to call this staging customer Oh, I want to show you the uh, the environment that I've set up. This environment points to a demo database which I've just set up. So if I refresh that, it should be fine. And you can see the staging table and the history table. And note that in the history table, we had that extra updated flag column. Right, so what else can I show you in this the environments uh, note that this schema called staging is set as default which means when I click on this table input I'm happy to leave the database as default because this is pointing to the demo database I'm happy to leave the schema as an environment default because it's pointing to the stage database so I will then set the target table as customer column names Basically, we look down the status and we fill in anything that's got a red text prompt. And this is these are the three columns from the staging table, so I'm going to click them. That's good. I'm going to leave offset sample. This should pick up the eight. And if I do roll count again, it will pick up eight. So that's good. Next, I'm not going to deal with the updated flag for now. I'll show you how to do that in a minute. So we've got a couple of options when we write. So if I put table output and table update. On the table output, we're going to read the help. The table output component empowers users to write an input flow into uh, flow out to an existing table. So the table must exist already. And this is just a way of inserting into that table. Yep, the table already exists, the columns have been found. Right. Um, let's look at the update the update an update table an update target table with a set of input rows the rows to update are based on the matching keys very important blah 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 so this one updates the stuff right so this is the better option this just inserts that because we're doing a, a merge which is an upset we're going to do an update so I'm gonna get rid of that one I'm gonna connect put that there connect that to that Next, we need to configure this update. First and foremost, I'm going to get rid of this naming. So this is the history customer table. Keep the warehouse the same. The warehouse is basically this compute warehouse, which is default. I'm going to leave that alone. Database, leave it as demo. There's nothing wrong with that. Schema, that needs changing. The default was staging. We now want it to be history. Target table, this is going to be the customer table. And we've only got one, so that's nice and easy. Table alias, leave it as target. Source alias, which is this staging one, leave that as input. Join expression, 
how do the two tables join? If we go back to the table create statements, the DDLs, they've got to join on customer key. Right. So go back there, click on the join expression, click, click on the dots, wait for the fields to populate. I'm going to say the target customer key, which is the source, uh, which is staging. And then I can use this button here, equals. You can also type if you want, use your keyboard. Right. Target customer key equals input customer key. Ah, right, so I've got that. I, I said that was wrong. Target is history, and then the input is the staging. Right. I'm going to grab that, copy, paste, mark, copy, control C. Right. So now that the join expression is set, now we do the when matched. So in this case, in, in when, when things are matched, you can actually identify several different scenarios of a when matched. I'm just going to specify one. So I could type it here if I wanted to. I'm going to click on the dots. So that's the expression. When it's matched, well, what, how's it going to match? I'm going to use the same join. So when the keys match, click OK. When the keys match, what are we going to do? We're going to do an update. OK. So when matched, that's that one that I've just created. When it's matched, an update mapping. Because when it's matched, we're doing an update. So if I click on Add All, it's going to add uh, when there's a match, it's going to update the key with the key, the name with the new name. It's going to update the inserted flag and the update flag. I'm not going to do anything with that. And I'm, I've, so I've clicked on it and removed it. Is that going to be okay? That's fine. Um, because a field, because a record already exists, we therefore don't need to update the customer key. So I'm going to get rid of that as well. And that's still okay. So as it stands, we're dealing with the scenario where on the when matched side of things, we're only dealing with the updates. So let's go back to history. Let's re-select from history. It's got four rows. And Dave is spelt incorrectly. So if I right click and execute this, it's all run. Let's have a look at that. How do we look at this? We click on in the task panel. We can expand. We can expand it and read it in there. Or you can click on the little arrow on the right and it'll generate a new tab to show the full details of the transaction for the job. So we've got an auto orchestration job which calls merge job and then it calls T1 merge job and it does some stuff like that. And it's done something with four records and say, says the same thing there. So let's look at this. So if I now run this history, select star from history again, note that the time previously was 29, 21, 29, and now it's gone down to 21, 28. So it's updated in history it's updated all the records, it's updated the name, and it's updated the insert date from staging, and it's updated Dave. So that was the upsert side of things. However, we need uh, Mario, Luigi, Toad, and Princess. How do you do that? Let me reset all these tables. Yeah, that's fine. And let's look at these tables again. And that one is the new date for in for stage and history is a different date. Okay. So we set it to before Davy is incorrect. Right, so the the task here now is we've done the upsert, we've done the update, how do we do the insert? So if I click on this table update component, the insert is handled after this update mapping. We include not matched. Well yes, we want them. Change that to yes. Insert mapping brilliant. So this is we do an update in on that component on that part of this 
component then we insert so if I on that component if I click on this add all these are all the fields in the target table in history and this is the uh, fields on from the staging table now I'm going to get rid of that update flag how does that look it's validated to green I'm going to run that again that's completed let's look at history history should have all the records let's order it by the customer key so now we've got all of them and the updated date is 2140 which is from staging so now the inserts worked if we wanted to we could have uh, we can strategically say well for Dave before it was Davey we can flag that as updated flag as one you'd use this type of mechanism when you want to activate or deactivate a, ta uh, a record and treat it as a dimension where it's uh, slowly changing dimen slowly changing dimension type 2 right, so let me just um, reset these tables again and let's check them again and grab that and grab that so I've reset the tables so now we're talking about how do we handle it when we want to update um, a record and mark something say that we've updated that record such as turning it off or in this example we're going to flag it we go to this update side of things it would be nice to be able to go right I want this updated flag and I want that to be one to say that it's been updated if I click OK it's not going to be happy because a column there's no such column as one okay so we need to generate a column to help update that uh, to help yeah we need to generate a column here and can't just use a value of one it won't be happy right. so how do we generate a column we use a calculate component I'm going to drag it I'm going to drop it on the uh, arrow and when it went grey it adds itself into the middle calculate I'm going to calculate updated flag right, I'm going to give it an updated flag include inputs which means all the columns from here is going to flow out calculation I'm going to generate a new field I want to call this click on that click on up the name updated flag um, if I do one should be okay and the reason being this is an integer one not the string and that is that works fine because when I created the history customer table the updated flag there is an integer and that should be fine let's move these along All right so the table up so is still moaning but that's fine because now we're going to fix that end column and there we've got the updated flag so now updated flag equals that fine and then when we do the insert we are not going to do anything with the updated so I'm going to go back to the orchestration job run that that'll finish let's go back to here let's look at history so now all these have been updated as expected Dave E has been fixed these have been inserted and they haven't been updated so therefore they use the default from the definition table definition zero and that's it um, let's look at that have we got anything different from before no all good any questions if you've got any questions then just drop a comment in the in the video please like and subscribe thanks